Hi, thanks for joining. So today what I want to do is I just want to talk about content type hubs. Um, I think it's one of the neater things that are available in SharePoint 2010 that may be overlooked uh, from an architectural perspective or just from a planning perspective when um, companies or whatnot um, try to initially deploy or implement sh um, SharePoint 2010. It's one of those things that you definitely need to plan for um, so you don't have rogue uh, content, content types being created at each site collection. Um, basically what the content type hub does, it allows you to have a central store for your content types and then you can then allow for other site collections or other web applications more rather to consume the content types from that central hub. So real quickly we're just going to go through that. Um, so right here on my screen this is the content type hub and it's nothing, it's no different than any other web application. I'm going to my central admin right now and all I did was I just created a standard website or web application and I just basically made it uh, or dedicated it as a content type hub and this is what we're looking at here. Okay, so before we start doing, going into the content type, we want to start setting it up from the administration perspective. So how we set up content type hubs um, once the web application is created, we're going to copy and paste this, the web app URL. Then we're going to go into SharePoint. Then we're going to go to our Manage Services. And then from here, we want to make sure that Manage Metadata Service is running and we have it enabled. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Properties. Now, I've already set it up, so you might not, I'm not going to actually do the actions, but you'll see it. So once you set it up, you're going to go down to the bottom and here you're going to have an option called content type hub it's going to ask you to enter in the URL that you want to use as a site collection as, as the um, URL for the site collection that will which the service applications will consume the content types from sorry about that and then from there you click OK and then that will now become the content type hub so we'll just click on here check that off and then we'll click OK. Okay, So once you do that, you then want to go into the actual connection, the Manage, Meta, the Manage Metadata Service connection, and then you're going to go to Properties, and then this option will be highlighted. If you don't specify a content type hub before, this option will be grayed out. Uh, but now that we have specified a content type hub, we just click off, uh, ch we just check that off, basically this says consume content types from the content type gallery which is at the specified URL that we provided earlier so we click OK and pretty much from an administrative perspective or from a central admin perspective that's all that needs to be done so now what you would do is all your content types within your organization you would want to create them all at this in this web application so just do one for example I already have one for example um, but We'll go to site actions and then go to site settings and you go to site content type and pretty much you would want to put all of your custom or proprietary or you know content types that you want to use within your organization you put them all in here so for example I created one earlier SharePoint for everyone content types and you know I just put anything just to give an example so here's our custom content type so once that's set up we then will go to content type publishing okay and this is this will pretty much show us what other web applications are consuming these content types from this hub so right here we see the management of data service which is our content type hub and then this will right here all this will show us all the other web apps that are subscribing to this particular content type hub and one more thing that we need to do within the farm, sorry, I thought I was completely finished from the farm, but one last thing that we do need to do is we need to run the services that will allow for the timer jobs to run and um, allow the other web applications to find this content type and start subscribing. So we'll just do that real quick. We go back to the farm and then we're going to go into essential admin and we're going to go to monitoring. We're going to go to view job definitions and then from there we are going to look for two timer jobs 
So we're going to look for the main timer job, which is the content type hub. Click on that. And so pretty much we want to run this immediately. So we'll click on run now. And of course, as you see, it's recurring. It'll run every 15 minutes. And click on run now. And then also, like I said, we have this web app that we want to start consuming the content types from the hub. So we're going to look for this web app. So it's 22532. So let's run over to our job definitions. And these are all the content type subscribers for each web application. We're going to look for 22532. So here we have it. We're going to click on here. And the recurring default schedule is every hour. We're going to see if we can just jump start that and run it now. Okay, so now what's happening is these two jobs will start running and then when you go back here you go back to your content type hub and then you go to settings and then you go to content type publishing what you will see which you don't see unfortunately is you will then see the content type subscribe the subscribe content type be populated with the web application that's currently subscribing to this content type hub um, it's probably, I'm, I'm sure it's my timer job, it's not running properly right now, um, but I think you get the gist of it. And pretty much that's it, that's how you enable content type help and allow content types to be published. Um, any service application errors will go here, I guess. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's, it's a fairly simple thing to do, um, doesn't, doesn't, do, doesn't require a lot of um, work. And at the end of the day, you centralize your content types. You no longer have to have disparate content types all over your your farm, and because in site collection, content types cannot be transferred or moved from one site collection to another. Only unless it's published within a content type hub, and then those web applications then consume from that hub. So it's one of those things that you definitely want to plan. You definitely want to make sure that people are not creating content types isolated isolated and they're sort of local I mean they're they're available to everyone just in case any other organization or part of your company or department wants to utilize those content types okay thanks for listening and I hope you enjoyed the show thanks